Escape the room! It's your good buddy, Barker Mifflin, master of all danger, back for more Escape the Room training. Survival nugget number 411. Always be training. That's obvious. We've arrived in a room that's clearly designed for playing video games. Ah, this is my kind of room. But I don't want to be trapped in here forever. Video games and popcorn get old after a while. And we're gonna need some sun. We need to find the escape hatch. And the only way that's going to happen is if we start training. I'll go easy on you with the first thing to find, but you'll have to find it fast. What's the last letter of the thing that's sitting on the couch? Go! Time's up. You're a top-notch trainee, so I'm going to assume you found the pillow sitting on the couch. And then figured out that W is the last letter in pillow. We're on our way to cracking the code for the room. Let's keep it going. There are two sets of coins in this room. Add them together. Go! Did you find the coins? They're on the big monitor. There's one set of three coins and another set of five coins. Add them up and you get eight coins. Oh, we're really cooking now. Survival nugget number 38. Once you're cooking, don't stop until you're done. You'll have to look all over the room for the next test. How many books are in this room? Go! There are three different stacks of books in this room. And all of them have two books. That's a total of six books. We're halfway done. You're doing great. But we've got three more things to find before we can unlock this room and get outside. This one is a little tricky, but I'm sure you can get it. There are six lights in this room that are all the same shape and size. Figure out what shape they are. What we need is the second letter of that shape. Go! The six lights are on the wall. And they're all triangles. And the second letter in triangle is R. Four down and only two to go. Now that's what I call progress. Sometimes, when I'm trying to escape a room, I think about zombies chasing me down the street. It helps me focus on the task at hand. Survival nugget number 62, always stay calm under pressure. Be careful on this next one. It's easy to miss an important detail. How many squares are on the computer screen that's sitting on the desk? Go. And that's time. Did you count all the squares? Lots of my trainees say there are six squares on the computer screen. If that sounds right to you, then look again. There are seven squares, six small ones, and one big one with a face inside it. The number we're looking for is seven. Now for the big finale, where you have to find a small object hidden in this room. Sometimes we search for letters or numbers, but today we're searching for a shape. The only clue I'll give you is that it's tiny. Go! Did you find the hidden shape? I'll give you a clue. It's over by the couch. And that's time. Hopefully you found the shape next to the couch. It's a circle. Did it. We activated the secret escape door from this room. Turns out it was hidden behind the TV this whole time. You solved six puzzles and unlocked an escape room. That's all the training for you today, but there's so much other great stuff to explore on the Bonkers channel. There's Bonkers the Animated Show, Snurf Fests and Snurf Searches, Riddles and Jokes with my good buddies Jenny and Finn, and there's even a Bonkers book. Just search for Bonkers wherever you find your books. And don't forget to subscribe to the Bonkers channel so you don't miss any of the new Bonkers stuff dropping every week. 
I'm off to my kung fu class. <sighs> but come back next time for more puzzle solving training. Ha! <laughs> Barker Mifflin signing off. Escape the room! <laughs>